missed opportunities. That's why the Green Bay Packers season ended Saturday night. A dropped interception. A failed fourth down deep in San Francisco territory. A missed field goal late. The Packers had all of those foibles and suffered a 24-21 heartbreaking loss to host San Francisco in the NFC Divisional Playoffs. It marked the fifth straight time the 49ers defeated the Packers in the playoffs. San Francisco made all the key plays in the fourth quarter and got the game winner when Christian McCaffrey ripped off a six-yard touchdown run with 107 left in the contest. Green Bay had one final chance, but Jordan Love was intercepted by Dre Greenlaw for the second time. The top-seeded 49ers improved to 13-5 and will host the NFC Championship game on January 28. The seventh-seeded Packers, the NFL's youngest team, ended the year 10-9. Here's the good, bad and ugly from the 49ers, win over the Packers. Staying aggressive. The Packers won the coin toss, took the ball as they have in recent weeks, then drove for a field goal that gobbled up 7 minutes, 38 seconds. Green Bay went 58 yards in 14 plays, running the ball 8 times for 30 yards along the way. The Packers picked up 2 of 3 first downs on the march. And according to ESPN's stats and info, that was the second longest drive of the year against San Francisco. Strong start. The Packers outgained the 49ers, 111-22, in the first quarter and had seven first downs to San Francisco's one. The Packers ran 22 plays, while the 49ers, had just five, and Green Bay held the ball 11-47 versus just 3-13 for San Francisco. Unfortunately for Green Bay, after all that it led just 3-0. Bo knows. Bo Melton was on the Packers practice squad until week 15. In the last six games, though, he's shown his future as bright. Early in the third quarter, Melton drew a 41-yard penalty on 49ers nickelback Ambry Thomas that gave Green Bay the ball at San Francisco's 19. On the next play, Melton got wide open behind the 49ers defense, did a nice job getting his feet down and hauled in a 19-yard touchdown pass from Jordan Love that gave Green Bay a 13-7 lead. Now that's special. It's been a long time since the Packers have had a special team success in the postseason. That changed Saturday night, though. On the final play of the first half, rookie defensive end Colby Wooden blocked Jake Moody's 48-yard field goal. Wooden timed his jump perfectly, got a hand on the ball and his big play helped the Packers stay within 7-6 at the break. That was Green Bay's first blocked field goal in the postseason since Datuan Jones had one against Dallas on January 11, 2015. Then midway through the third quarter, Kayshawn Nixon ripped off a 73-yard kick return, but fumbled. Fortunately for the Packers, linebacker Eric Wilson was Johnny on the spot and recovered the loose ball at San Francisco's 20. Four plays later, Jordan Love hit tight end Tucker Kraft with a two-yard touchdown pass.